Welcome to Raw Holla. Let's see what happens as we go into game number one between Radish and Impala. Let's see what happens here in Core Clash 1v1s. Starting off, Radish find that first weapon and quickly building a lot of combo, going for an ambitious ground pound read. Not finding it, but still. Starting off well, but it is just about even, you know. Damage buildup looks slow so far, but can Radish find the same confirms? The same huge damage build? No, he cannot. Getting confirmed by Impala very quickly with the bow. That ground pound finding him, taking out his recovery and just knocking him Whoa. out in aura. That was a very first, like, quick first stock, AJ. Indeed, that was very, very quick. Coming in out of Impala, feeling a lot more comfortable going against Radish. And I mean, if you are, if you're Impala, you're definitely feeling comfortable. But as I say that, I mean, Radish kind of yoinks him down to the ledge a little bit, but Impala's still up by an entire stock there, Clem. This is a crazy Impala. Impala is seeing red right now. He is just pressing, he's just moving forward towards Radish like an unstoppable object and just crashing into him. And he's hitting all his moves. Like, typically you'd see Impala, you know, bait a lot of moves and stuff. But right now he's just running at him, finding all the moves he needs. And it is looking absolutely insane. Will Radish take a stock? The ground bound finding an orange and that KO, that is oh just God. a minute 15 seconds. The speed running what like that's the three stock though he saw red he did see red he saw it in his eyes his eyes were fucking bleeding but what? still was able to get the knockout options on the radish and oh my gosh uh, oh, that was just a very very overall clean knockout option coming out of them and uh with that being said we're going to game number two we're on apocalypse and Radish really needs to find some type of way against Impala's aggression right now. Yeah, I just don't think anybody can take this guy to Small Brawl Haven. What happens there? <laughs> that's just like, that's the second time in a row we've just seen that like, someone takes him Small Brawl Haven game one, gets thrashed, and then they're on APOC. I mean, we're gonna have to see how it changes, because last time, this was a really good change, and Luna was able to really capitalize off the big map, but... We're gonna have to see how that changes for this uh -oh. set. Impala finding the ground pound very early, can he confirm it? Not quite able to. Finds the Sair. Looking very scary for Radish right here. It is. It's coming down to Impala is being aggressive, but not too aggressive. He's like, hey, I'm going to bait you into things, and then I'm going to be aggressive a little bit. Like, his aggression changes as he goes against Radish's different attacks here. But as I say that, Radish coming in with a double grandpa knockout there onto Impala. And Radish is up a little bit over Impala here. And this is what you want if you're Radish, but... Got to make sure you keep that advantage as long as you possibly can. Yeah, I mean, it's always good. You know, he took his first stock this set. Very important. And I mean, you know, he's looking very solid in this game too. A lot more confident than he was last game, you know. Impala not really find the same success when he runs at him at this time. I think, I don't know what happened mid-set, but the adaption so far has been very solid to me from Radish. Able to keep the lead going. And I mean, he's just pushing Impala into orange and almost KO yep. percent right now. It's looking very, very good if you're Radish. It's always funny because whenever we have our fantastic sets on, on Moose Wars' uh, tournament streams, it always comes down to a three stock by someone and then the opponent coming in with the comeback. And we're seeing that now with the Radish with this fantastic edge guard ground pound knockout onto Impala. And now we have Radish what? bleeding in his eyes. Will Impala take the advantage with that bow? We'll have to see. Oh, we do. Oh. Bow there. They're catching. But still. Radish taking that first game and just saying, hey, I'm going to fight back now. And all of a sudden, he's doing very, very well. Hopefully, he can keep this advantage state going. Because right now, he's looking very solid. And he's building up a lot of good damage, finding the aerials he needs. And so far, it's been, it's been working on this APOC pick. But we're going to have to see, will the maps change? Will anything change? Or will Impala come back from this in this first in the second game right here? I mean, we're just going to have to see as time moves on. Yeah, for sure. And right now, I mean, we're two minutes and 30 seconds in. Radish has the lead. I don't know what's going to happen. Recovery coming in. Neutral air. Going in for a ground pound. I think that was more of a missed input, but still, I think Impala's just kind of running into a lot of these attacks. Nice getting out of the momentum. Nice side by Radish, though, getting it back. We have a down signature. Nice dodge by Impala, but the side comes in onto Impala. Radish with the edge guard opportunity and Ooh, coming in with that very very nice Kaya signature. Looking like Acno. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Same I mean, same. Sure. That look that was flashbacks to Acno. But anyways, Impala, looking good in the comeback. But the Sarah catches it out. 
not really able to close it out. Radish with a clean two stock, but Impala still has signs of life. We're going to have to see him on these smaller maps now because he banned APOC. He does not want to go back there. And I honestly think it's a great decision. I think he should try and focus on like the smaller maps because even when he's been able to find the KO and push that advantage, he has been winning very well. But it's just the moment he starts struggling to find that KO and he starts getting like string super hard, it's just it, it snowballs super hard, right? And it's, it's yeah. never really what you want to be the, uh, dealing with. And now we are going into our fourth game here and our, our next game here. And, and Radish is still on that Petra. You still see Impala on that, that, that Kaya. But right now, if, it's, if you're both these players, you got to consider these platforms a lot more too. With Miami Dome having two stationary platforms and having a pretty decently uh, decent ceiling here on the map, it can lead into a lot of different options, a lot of early knockout options when it comes down to recoveries and anything knocks off that ceiling of this map. Yeah, I mean, we've seen a lot of orb players be very comfortable with the Miami pick as it leads to some very good ledge can cancel combos just naturally on orb. But I mean, we've seen Impala also pick Miami Dome a lot. So it's one of his comfort picks. I mean, this map is a normally a pretty safe and like even map and so far it's been going even but impala catching the jump out of the sidelight almost finding that ko but i mean still pretty even but it's looking solid for impala hopefully he can find a ko soon the weapon throw into delight sair wow. very clean confirm wow very very solid taking that first stock of radish yeah, and if you're Radish now, you gotta be like, uh oh, I gotta kind of change things around. I want to have this advantage going against Impala going into the next game here. And you just don't want that pressure to be on you. And with Radish, it comes down to him. I mean, if he has the advantage, he does very, very well. But when he's a lot of pressure on him, especially when it comes down to his final stock knockout options, you've always seen kind of more of a weakness kind of show out. So if you're Impala, you gotta be like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and attack you right now. I'm going to take advantage of how you do in those game four, game five situations and do the best that I can. But I don't know. Rage is going to really go in for this knockout option as best they possibly can. You're just going to see him be a lot more aggressive and try to go for a lot more counters. That recovery comes in and Impala's knocked out on that first stock. And I don't know. I think if you're Impala, you kind of have to see what happens here. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, it's looking very, very even so far. While Impala took that first stock, Radish is quickly fighting back. While he may be down a little bit of damage, pretty quick to respond to that, but he burns his dodge. Scary spot, but not really letting anything come like come to be. But Impala find the end light. Slowly but surely, building that lead ever more. But you know he just needs to find the KO. Right? That's that's what we're gonna have to see. If he can find it, it'll be really, really good and he'll continue to push the advantage, but just Radish is just not really falling to any of the hits. Yeah, for sure. And right now, this is kind of what Radish wants. I mean, he really, really does. He wants to make it a lot more even and then get this a little bit of advantage as he possibly can. Because then you feel you're going you're to know and Paul's going to feel the pressure of that final stock. And, and, wow. and I think a lot of times that's what Radish is really good at punishing is when the opponent is really in a rough time and trying to be able to get their, their grasp of everything that's going on. And... I don't know, it is going back and forth right now. And it's anyone's advantage here. Who's gonna take it though? It's kind of come down to a side light. Oh, the recovery oh, misses! There catches, wow. And Impala comes in with the with the neutral air and Rage is down to the final stock there, Collab. Really solid dodge coming over from Impala, avoiding the recovery and catching that quick nair, securing the KO. And now he's in the same spot as he was on that first stock. Hopefully he can build it into some more damage, but unfortunately the Sarah connecting from Radish, he's gonna look for a dare maybe. Side sick mixes it up, had me completely lost on that. Now it is dead even and he's got the weapon starve. Looking very good on the orb, finding a Sair, hopefully hoping to like build more damage, finds another Sair. Nothing really, just a bunch of stray hits. No huge extensions just yet. Yeah, for sure. And right now, Silent Sider comes in from Radish. And we're seeing Impala trying to be like, hey, I want to take that center control. Because that's what he needs for bow. He needs that center control for that bow, that bow damage build up. And you're seeing Radish kind of say, hey, you're going to that ledge. I do not want you there. I do not want you on that center control. I want to go and take that away from you. And you're seeing Rage kind of doing these side airs, kind of leading him off the off the edge and all these different things and trying to punish. I mean, Rage also has a down signature that's very, very powerful when it comes down to a 
but so does Impala. Impala using that catching. is trying to get this knockout option on Rage, but it's very, very close for knockout option there, Clem. Yeah, it's very, very close. I mean, this is pretty scary. I mean, Rage finding the Sair on Orb. Orb typically has the advantage here, but one good move from Bo, if he can find the juggle with a Nair and Enlight, it'll be very big, but the Sair catches, not KOing just yet, but one more of those. Oh, oh but it's another side sig. Wow. Just Radish letting them rip on ledge, and they have been connecting. Just, yeah. wow. I, I typically do not see people really get hit by those that much, but Radish has just been using them at the perfect time today. Yeah, and I think right now, I mean, that side signature, even when he was coming back to platform, he knew Impala was going to try to jump back on platform and be like, hey, I have center control. I can go ahead and land something when it comes to a spear, but I, this Radish knew was one step ahead of Impala in that game number three, but we're now going to game number four. Impala still on that Kaya that we know them for. And see what happens as we go over to Small Pearl Haven. Ooh, and if you're Radish, Small you're Pearl like, Haven. if Radish beats Impala on this, I think he's going to go crazy for the next, the next game. But I, I don't yeah. know. I mean, this is Impala's map, in my opinion. Just he, He's got to have a good first stock. Otherwise, he'll start having flashbacks to game one. And that's just really, yeah. that's not what we want to see. So, so far, so good. He's got a weapon control. Now it's Orbo. Both players on their respective weapons they're very comfortable in. And it's so far, Impala just... Just feeling good on Small Brawl Haven. Going for some big options. Punished with a ground pound. Can you confirm it? Another ground pound. Mike KO. d -Sig misses. Covered by the ground wow. pound. And it KOs. What a very good off stage confirm. Just not letting Impala breathe for a second. Covering his options and just getting a very, very solid early KO. But it's funny because like in like Radish just had every single knockout option controlled off that ledge with that, that orb. And, and after you're in poly, you're gonna be like, hey, I still have my momentum. Let's go and go forward with something. This is Sally. I mean, he's getting very comfortable with that on arm, even though he's not using it a whole lot. He's very comfortable going against Radish right now, which is kind of surprising me. Right, I mean, Impala's looking pretty confident right now. I don't think he's too rattled by that first stock, but he really just finding those nares evens it up ever so slightly, but he still has a bit of a damage deficit to build up and catch up from. But I mean, it's not the end of the world and Radish is on gauntlets. This is typically kind of where you want him because if you looked at the like the damage in the last games, it is all orb focused. His, his gauntlets are kind of cold right now. I don't know how much he's been using them in this last set. So we're gonna have to see if he can really make use of them, but. For sure, but right now, Radish has that control. Neutral like coming in and Paul's off that ledge. It looks like realistically, he's just keeping trying to keep Impala off that ledge so much. I've been saying that a lot. But as soon as they come back to platform, Silent Sider comes in. Nice little bow combo coming in from Impala, trying to get these follow-up options on the Radish. But the dodge reads coming in from both players have been fantastic. Impala avoiding the orb hits very, very well. Just playing around the space. Trying to find those stray hits, missing the Sarah and getting punished with an end light. This might sign the end of his second stock, but he finds Ooh. a side light into Ensei. It doesn't KO just yet, but it sets him up very, very well. He's got the weapon starve. Radish finding that unarmed side light, not letting him get the KO just yet. D light recovery. Does that confirm it? That does. Impala taking the lead for the first time this game. And I mean, if he takes this game, it'll be pushing to a game five. So he's looking to keep this momentum. Radish whiffing a side sig. I mean, I don't know. This is this is looking very tense, AJ. It is. It's going to come down to how fast Rage can get this knockout option onto Impala and how well he's able to really show the force that he can and lead Impala off that ledge because that's how he's been winning these games is making sure these players go off the ledge and don't have to really have this control. And Rage gets that side air knockout onto Impala. Has a little bit of a disadvantage, but if all it comes down to is really keeping uh, Impala without a weapon and off the ledge. Radish really liking these D6 and these ground pounds today, but so oh, far <laughs> has the weapon control. Might still be behind slightly in damage, but it's not looking that bad right now. Not able to weapon start one more time. Gets caught in the juggle though. This might spell the end for Radish. Side stick catching it. Oh! That is going to secure that game four. And wow, we're going to a game five scenario. Indeed, this is going to go into game number five between Impala and Radish, and they're going over to Apocalypse. We don't see that small Brawl Haven anymore. And uh, I mean, just overall, man, I mean, Impala has just been really, really showing his gameplay. And 
I, I, I don't know. We're going here. Rage is going to really want to pull off the ledge. I think Impala, after going four games against Rage, realizes that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that last game, he was avoiding those orb hits so well when he was in red. He was playing very, very smart around them. So if he can keep that up for this game, he can stop Rage from getting those good side light stair KOs and force him into like an uncomfortable position where he's just not able to get a hit. It'll be very good for him. But it really... He's starting off very strong for this game with a slight damage lead onto Radish. Radish stuck on the gauntlets again, where we haven't found him with too much success. Throwing them away for orb, smart decision. And I mean, now it's about just as it is every game, the bow into the orb. Who is going to take this game? Yeah, I don't know, but we'll kind of have to see what happens. Impala coming in with that bow two-piece, trying to get the dare option on the Radish. Radish now having the orb neutral air, tries to do it again. It's a lot of back and forth between these players and I mean side light coming in from Radish Impala trying to get that center control just overall though Impala's been doing a lot better this game of taking center control gets the neutral light coming in and now it comes down to the knockout options which Impala was having a rough time doing with bow as might go over to spear gets the neutral light instead there he goes swaps over to spear misses that spear recovery Throws it away. Disarmed. Is comfortable with unarmed. Chases down. Knockout on Radish. Wow. Just chasing him down with the unarmed. Just very, very confident. Getting hit with this air. No longer the safest, safest spot. But, I mean, he just has to find a couple more in airs. Maybe two. And it'll be good. But side light air catching. And now, looking very, very scary for Impala. d not catching just quite yet. But, I mean, D-Light and air. KOs. Wow. And so Impala looking confident in this game five taking the first stock with a good juggle into the weapon throw hitting two nares can he keep up the momentum yeah for sure and i mean right now rage comes in with that silent weapon throw picks up gauntlets again and tries to get this knockout option but i mean both players have been having problems with knockout options but it looks like rage is having a rough time when it comes down to those gauntlets but that should have knocked out but rage's momentum and movement have been insane tonight yeah, and I mean, Paul has just been going for these ground pounds where he's just letting them rip. I mean, it was one of those things where Radish got stuck on gauntlets. I, he was not comfortable on gauntlets in previous games, and he still wasn't this game. It was just kind of a weakness where he got stuck on gauntlets, and Paula built a solid lead, and now it's looking kind of scary where Radish has to find one of those big orb strings that we've seen him do in previous games to just bring it back. I mean, once again, we're on the bow and the orb. They've been trading these last few games, where it's just they trade single hits, not like the most big extensions. So it's looking bad for Radish. He needs to find that huge, huge opportunity. Yeah, for sure. And right now, this is looking bad for Radish. He really needs to get Impala off that center control. And now he's doing that side light side air onto Impala. Impala comes with that bow two piece, but does not knock out, even though it's Apocalypse. Side air coming in. I mean, it just comes down to Rage really getting these options onto Impala. He may not be able to knock out, but as long as he gets that damage fill up, that's the main wow. thing right now there, Clem. Yeah, and I mean, this is kind of the opposite of what we've seen last game, where it is instead of Impala avoiding Radish's or moves, he goes oh! for the side and it doesn't KO just yet. I thought that would KO, but still, Radish oh. is bringing it back, where he's just refusing yeah. <laughs> to get hit. He's playing out of the zones, and he's spacing it super duper well. He took back the momentum, and it's looking good. He's just to find a, a side light Sair or a Sair, the Nair catch is knocking him just yet. Both players just looking for a raw quick aerial. Yeah. Nair catching on Impala. And once again, Impala maybe a little more rattled than he was that second stock. Because, I mean, Radish brought it back so hard. Where this game is neck and neck. Game five, both players probably feeling the pressure. Impala finding small reads, but not a lot of damage oh. to work with so far. Yeah, and that looked like it should have possibly knocked out, but I, I don't know. The, the sides of this map are pretty far compared to what I'm used to seeing. And if you're if you're going to be Radish, you've got to get this knockout option. Neutrally comes and does not knock wow. out. We might need a Silite Sider to confirm. But I think Impala's kind of expecting that a little, little bit. Radish missed scary. landing. That knockout instead. It's one suck all. Game five, a loser's finals. Who's going to take it there, Clem? We're gonna have to see. I mean, Impala's got the damage lead, Radish has the weapon. Both of them, the bow and the orb, the story of this whole set. Which kit will prevail? Will it be Impala? Will it be Radish? We're gonna have to see. Impala looking confident so far, but Radish looking to fight back. Goes for a D-Sig, going for those big options, but unfortunately they're not connecting. And Impala just finding those stray hits. A Sair, a Nair, a Dare, side light D-Sig, and Whoa! it is just over.
Wow. Very, very composed coming out from Apollo. That last stock came in, and then all of a sudden, he just took control of the game, found the hits he needed, didn't get hit by the big options that Radish wow. was throwing out, and just took it. Dude, his wow. came down to the pressure from final stock. I think Impala knew if he did not get that aggressive that they would have possibly have not have won that game. And overall, Impala and Radish were neck on neck, but then you see Impala just go crazy on Radish within this last 20 to 30 seconds.